Welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we've got a giant sync drive core motor in a Talon E-Plus that we're going to unlock. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to help us make some more. Thanks. First thing we've got to do is take off this bash guard here. It's a T20 Torx screw on both sides, one on this side, one on the other side. We've got a 4mm Allen key at the front here. Okay, on the other side now we've got a 3mm Allen key bolt and another T10 Torx that's right behind the chainring. Once those are out, you can pull the bash guard off like so. Okay, now we need T30 Torx. We're going to loosen off the bottom motor mount bolt. couple turns and then we're going to remove this one and the front one. These are bolts with a nut on the other side so once you loosen it off you can grab the nut. Just put that somewhere safe of course. Okay, now the motor's loose, we can access the plugs. The first one we're going to need is this three-wire plug here that we can get at right away. The next one we're going to have to lift up the motor to get to. So we're going to gently pull these cables through the frame to give us some more space to work with. Take them over to this side of the chain. Take off the chain now as well. Now with these cables out of the way, we can lift the motor up nice and slow. So on these particular bikes, the next cable we need is tucked inside the front of the frame quite firmly. And there we go, we've got it out. This is the one we need here behind this heat shrink, so we're going to trim this heat shrink off. Just want to use very gentle pressure so you don't slip and cut any wires. Now we've just got to unplug, they've got little push down parts in the connector. Same on our other cable over here. Okay, here we've got the E plus chip now that we're going to plug in. You can see it's got matching com connectors to the motor. So what we do is we take the, first we'll do the big plug, take the motor end and you plug it into the chip. Until you get a nice click. Then you take the end off the chip and you plug it into the other end. Now we do the same with the little connector. Plug the little one from this motor into the chip. Plug the other end into the chip. There we go, they're all connected now. Okay, now if we just turn the bike on as a test, you can see both lights on the chip flash and then turn off. That means it's connected properly. So we can go ahead and reassemble. So as you can see, there's plenty of wires we've got to sort out. So what we're first going to do is put the chip down the front tube. And then tuck all these large connectors down the front tube as well, as we get there.
Okay, so that's the trickiest part with these giant installs. Is getting all the cables tucked away. Okay, once you're happy with the cables, we can put the motor bolts back in. Alright, I'm just going to tighten these motor bolts. Then we can pop the bash guard back on. Okay, all that's left is we'll do up the other side, put the chain on and we're good to go. Okay, we'll replace our 3 mil Allen key one. And then our Torx up behind the chain ring. Okay, then we'll put the chain back on. Okay, when you turn the bike on, you've got to activate the chip each time you turn the bike on. And we'll show you how to do that now. You press the walk button, and then immediately after, press the forward button. And you can see that flashing on the display. This indicates that the chip's now active, and you'll be able to go past 25.